Hello, hello, ladies and gentlemen. This is your host, Star Destroyer Gaming, and we are back with some more Fallout 4. We have 10 new mods ready for us to enjoy, and I was able to get the BB gun working. And so we are going to go back and try our luck once again uh, at the uh, Big John Salvage. Now, quick disclaimer, uh, we're actually a little bit more heavily armed than we were before. We have our BB gun, of course, loyal, trusty, enjoyable, and uh, for the Super Mutants, we have a Fat Man. Uh, we brought the Fat Man, and we have three mini-nukes, so that should be sufficient to weaken the defenses of this outpost so that our BB gun can go ahead and finish it off, so I kind of enjoy having two things at completely different ends of the spectrum here in terms of um, damage. And we have about ten other mods, adding a whole lot of things, including about nine new melee weapons, four new guns, a whole lot of really cool stuff. And we also have the pleasant UI, as you can see. Very pleasant looking. We didn't get ambushed the second that we dropped down there. And it just makes the HUD much more much more uh, minimal, so that we can kind of focus on the action a little bit more. Uh, I don't know. I think this is really nice. It's a pretty old mod, actually, but it's one that's been pretty widely... Um, pretty widely used. It's very popular, and I think it's for good reason. It's just a nice classic mod. We've also got the Raider chest armor. The Martyr chest armor, still. Which is kind of a giant meme. I have to admit, using this for the first time, the map... A little difficult to see, like, oh, is there a new location? It's kind of hard to tell what's going on in that respect. But other than that, I quite like it. More rats incoming. Oh, nice. You can go in stealth mode. Bomb. That's epic. It's. Oh! Come on! There we go. Oh, it's still alive. Let's kill it. Come on. Reload the BBs. Oh, it's right in front of us. Doink. Oh, it broke our arm. What legendary to have? Defiant. Oh, it had the same legendary item. What the? Alright. Guess we better. There we go. Five. Our new hotkey for stim packs. And drink up here. Only to the stim because we uh, took some damage. Or we took some arm damage. Handmade automatic rifle. Very nice. Alright. Let's get this good old relay tower going. We're not even going to bother listening to the signals this time. Just because we know it's not that's important. Let's go ahead and see if those signals are marked for us. It appears like we don't get a notification on those new signals, which... Oh, there we go. We do. Okay, I was going to say, I was like, that's kind of a, just a straight downgrade. Um, mangy Rad Rat Pup. Yeah, there's got to be another one around here, right? I guess not. Well, down we go toward... We're heading right for Big John Salvage. Let's go ahead and take our... We'll keep this off for right now, and then we'll get our fat man. I wonder if there's a prone mod. Oh, it's right. The place is right here. All right. Out we go. There she is. Let's save with F1. Okay. And let's check out the targets. Look, it won't show you what the enemy is. Oh, it shows it down here. A little peculiar, but this old text is still here. Looks like they never bothered to really change that. Is that legendary? Legendary Warlord. Let's just fire right in the middle. Oh my god. That did oh, oh, it knocked him down. Bro's literally gotten bowled around. Okay, I guess we're gonna... We have a caution. They didn't respond to the enormous mini-nuke landing. We have another mod called XXL Nukes, which basically makes all of the nuclear explosions even bigger. Let's try this for size. Oh, that's too far. You won't stay hidden for long. One more round. Come on. Son of a bitch. Here I was that should do some damage. Oh, is it the, is the elevation killing us here? I think the elevation is making it so that they, they don't even know where the rounds are landing. Holy cow. Nuclear weapons do not have much effectiveness, even against super mutants. Oh, I'm just trying to land hits on this guy. It's almost impossible. Oh, 
Holy cow, these guys literally do not care one iota about. Okay, we've got a critical <laughs> ready. Hide, hide. Save up. Get some liquid in us. All right. Where's that mutant? There we go. Let's get that headshot onto the warlord. Good stuff. We really should focus on just one or two. All right. F it. We're going to go ahead and... Oh, my. Oh, there we go. It looks like another secondary explosion went off. They're probably going to start moving up here. I thought the fat man would do more damage, so we're in a bit of a bad spot. There's a Primus right there. We're going to try to switch to our other weapon. There we go. Very effective. Good hit, good hit. What I'm most afraid of is those Nightkin. Got another Nightkin there. Oh my. Oh, run away! Oh, run, run! Holy cow. Let's try to get some headshot damage in. Bruh, dude's literally chilling. Oh, this is terrifying. I can't even stop him. He's freaking laughing at us. Run! It's getting dark. Reload and fall back. Can't tell if I'm landing hits or not. Let's reload. This is intense. Nice, got that one. We're gonna save one more time. I know this, these guys are getting whiplash. It, getting hit by, oh, we're taking a lot of fire. Holy cow. Quick heal. All right. Let's go ahead and peek up. There's the Nightkin. Right? He's over there somewhere, I thought. Oh, there's one. Fall back! Oh, dog me took a hit for me. Shielded me with his body. <laughs> nice, got that one. Got the legendary warlord. Good hit. Where is he? I don't know. Recenter with the vats. I'm just dumping rounds into empty space at this point. More stim. More water. I think let's get back into the action here. Almost got him. Just need one more hit. This should be it. Nice. One more down. Let's go and get into our aid. Oh, we actually got the quest done. Uh, where's some rad away? One thing that terrifies me is that Nightkin, wherever he is. Oh, there's a lot of bad guys down here still. Don't know where they are. There we go. Got something. There we go. Got at least two more. We're going to save again. There's a Nightkin out there somewhere. Oh, no. It's not a Nightkin. Oh, yes, it is. Let me try for the headshots. Fall back. Holy cow, even one Nightkin, even one Nightkin can take us down. Oh my goodness. We got overwhelmed. Good news is we're, we're not going to start all the way back at Sanctuary. Oh, did he 
go invisible? No, he didn't. It's so hard to tell. I keep- I'm literally clapping Z to go prone. Like, I literally want to go prone. Oh! Fire! Oh, it didn't even kill him. Legendary enemy, what? He's down. Let's go for the headshot. Oh, he's bringing his rifle around. He's not even marked as legendary. <laughs> We're still in danger? No, yes. Plasma infused radiant rifle. That's a crazy good gun. That's strong. That's a strong gun. The Nightkin are spawning as like regular enemies for some reason. Holy cow. There's one. All the way over here with the scattered. That's who had the scattered laser rifle. Guess we'll keep pushing up this way now. Oh my gosh. The, dude, the nuclear bombardment, I thought would be a lot more effective, especially because we have a mod on called XXL Nukes, which basically means that um, nukes have about 2.5 times more radius and damage. So it's like, the idea is like, you know, have you ever felt dissatisfied with playing Fallout 4 that, oh, like, when, you know, when you're playing, uh, mini nukes just aren't doing the kind of damage they should be doing, you know, and it's a nuclear blast, and it should be a lot worse, you know? Well, this mod kind of attempts to change that. I say attempts only because we used three on this little area and we didn't seem to kill any mutants. But then again, we could have been firing in totally the wrong places. But anyways, it makes those mini nuke explosions much more powerful. Which includes making cars extremely strong when they blow up. So you always got to watch out for that. Alright, looks like these items didn't get thrown around too much. And okay, here we go. Got one of the new weapons here. Oh, and yes. Tales of a Junktown Jerky Vendor. Love that. We have the jury-rigged Tesla cannon. Here it is. We need EC packs, of which we have none of. This thing looks awesome. This is not from the Creation Club. This is a standalone mod. And uh, it adds a collection of Tesla... One of, our, one of the ten that we just installed. Well, anyways, the Tesla cannon was designed, uh, it was used in Fallout 3 and New Vegas, and the idea behind it is it was like an anti-tank weapon, which I absolutely love. I think it's very, like, Fallout-y to have an anti-tank weapon rather than being a Carl Gustav or something like that. It's like, nope, you have a giant electric tube on your, you know, back or whatever. So, it's not particularly, it's not super experimental, although it is rare. Um, so, I added it into the game, into the level lists of uh, the enemies, including the Super Mutants. Although that location is where the um, one of the legendary variants spawns. I think there are other legendary variants, so I'm not exactly sure. I guess we'll loot around here. If this is a much smaller HUD, it feels like almost like naked. Like, it's kind of different. Oh, and here we go. We got John Miller's terminal. Looks like somebody was trying to break into here. Probably someone, just a thief right after the bombs dropped or something. You know, and then like 10 years after the bombs dropped, some random regular guy trying to break in. Because I think Super is suffering more damage. Let's go ahead and check out the uh, terminal here. John Miller. Journal entry. Okay. Looks like they have a nuclear shelter, which is pretty interesting. Looks like they're working on their own little bunker. In the tipped over train behind Dad's shop. Climb up behind and drop in the top. Okay. So it looks like that's the rhyme he talked to his kids, his little children, to protect them, to tell them what to do in case of nuclear blasts. Man, if there's some child corpses in there, I won't be ready to handle it, not gonna lie. Tipped over truck behind the shop. Is that thing gonna explode? I'm gonna stay away. It looks like it's gonna blow up. <gasps> Whoa! I really don't trust that thing. Dude, blow up if you're gonna blow up. Come on, do it. It won't explode. Okay, I guess it's not going to blow up. I'm going to save when I approach. Watch it immediately just detonate as soon as I get close. Holy cow. Come on, don't blow up. 
Just be a regular burning truck. Oh, the suicider got turned to jelly, as well as a brute out here. Holy cow, those things are annoying. Let's plink. Plink those things out. Nice. Alright, reload here. Oh, Octavius! What? Okay, I guess that's the super mutant leader. He's nothing more than a pile of rubbish. I think our the, the fat man round that went wide landed all the way down here and blew that thing to kingdom come. Oh, nice. Good loot. I recall this place being very, like, bare bones, but there's actually a good amount of loot here. Nice. Dude, RIP Octavius. That man got completely eliminated. <laughs> I imagine that, yeah, all of the, like, items that w should be around are just tossed everywhere because they've been throwing mini nukes around. Let's go ahead and check out the upper floor here. Not much to see. A little bedroom area. We're already overweight, surprisingly. Come on. Come on, baby. Ah, uh, ah. Uh, there we go. Nice. Got it. We'll take some of that. Thank you. stairs we go. Need to find a companion to drop off all of our loot on. Awesome, more ammo. Yeah, these, these guys don't have much, like raiders, but they have lots of, they are loaded on ammunition. They really made it worth it to come here. Holy cow, alright. Deacon, take hey, some of this junk sure, or something. I can help you out. Not that. That's the uh, holotape that like controls how many fireflies spawn. Dude, there's... Oh, exterminator's assault rate. There's not even that much stuff I can give him. It's not like just weapons or ammo, and I just don't want him using that stuff, which is why I don't give it to him. There you are, dog hey. meat. You're more trustworthy. I can trust you with all kinds of ordnance. Here you go. Thought you just blowing us all to kingdom come. And our jury rigged. Yeah, this thing is not helping the weight. 42 weight. My goodness. Yeah, that's not... Doing us any favors. Alright, we, we're all full up on there. Alright. And that's all looted, right? Yep. Okay, good stuff. So we'll head on across over here. Gotta find that bunker. Drop in into a train car. Hmm. We'll ignore that. Oh, and you can see the red rocket there is... Oh, that's so cool! You see the red rocket is positively glowing. That's a cool gate. And that's because we have the red glare mod installed, which makes the red rockets kind of glow at night. Just a little uh, feature which adds a little bit visually and uh, to the immersion, you know? Man, let me tell you, there's not a lot here except for weapons and ammo. Here we go again. A nuclear mine. All right, we'll take it. Thanks to our bombardment, we've just scattered these things all over the place. We have another mod, we probably noticed it by now, explosive barrels, which adds in these little explosive barrels around, just like pretty much all shooter games have, you know, a selection of fuel barrels, so if you shoot them, they'll explode, pretty standard stuff, let's go ahead and try it out, they'll spark, oh, there we go, it blew them all up at once in the little depot here, sorry, Deacon, alright, uh, we'll take whatever's in here, okay, up we go, down this side. Big John Salvage. Okay, got all this stuff. A couple of army corpses laying around. Alrighty, pretty standard stuff. Oh, fusion core. Wow. Easily missable there. We got over here. Not much. Not much. We looted this pile of ash, right? Yes, we did. Oh, no, we didn't. That's a regular mute. No. Oh, this is the front. <gasps> what the hell is that? Oh my god. It's so disgusting. Got it. It just like stared at us, bro. This thing didn't even come at us. Oh god, it's been eating something in here. That's terrible. Alright, well. There's a lot of dead army soldiers around here. It, it, kind of making me wonder about Big John. Like, you know, is he anti government or. You know, wh why are these all these army soldiers here? Did they just think it was a good place to hole up after the war and they just happened to die? Or, you know. Anyways. Oh, nice. Into the safe we go. 
break down bobby pin. Could get that modulus like force the lock, you know, over and over. That could be a good time saver, but it's probably just the best to keep. Oh, this is cool. This is like the only camper. It's like a bus conversion. It's not even a proper camper. It's like the only camper type vehicle we see in like the whole game. This guy actually made it something he could travel around with. That's cool. Or that was just junk that was dropped off here. One or the other. We'll go that way in a second. But first, I want to clear this out right here. What do we got? Little Radex right away. Everything's been tossed around. And then this leads up into the main body of the thing, which we already looted, right? Yeah, looks good. And this is definitely a place the students would like to hang out. That makes sense. Yep. Well, alright. We didn't toss anything around, did we? Okay, good. Okay, last thing to loot is down this ways. Let's go ahead and see what aid items we have. Maybe that buff our help up a little bit. Grab some bubble gum. Don't want to take the purified water. Ah, uh, the ribeye steak. Love it. I think that's the bubble gum. <coughs> oh my gosh, this place is extent. This place is extensive. There's a lot here. I think all the servants were so spaced out, you know, that hitting them with one atomic blast was kind of difficult. Area. This is a larger area than I imagined. Well, alright. We'll loop that red rocket here in a second. But first, what's the thing about the train cars and the hatch and the bunker? I mean, what is all that about? Not here. We need to search for rail line, railway tracks, like a rail line. Not over here, it seems. Must be this way more. Oh, Radex just sitting out, probably tossed there by the bombings that I've been committing, the, the horrific war crimes, okay? I wonder if the suit mutants actually use these things, or if other people use these things to make this, you know, structure that we have here. Like, it looks like the excavators were used, I just wonder when that actually happened. Oh, here we go, this is it. We just stumbled right across it, okay. And into the shelter we go. Sealed shut. Okay. Follow the wires. Up to the. Not up to there. Up to here. It's where the gate mechanism is. We have to hit it again and close it. Let's see if that worked to open the shelterino up. go. This place is a maze, especially in the dark like this. Oh, yeah, like, where was the thing I was even going to? Was it here, here? This trap door is still shield shut. Hmm. I thought maybe the power could only go to the gate or that thing at one time, but that doesn't seem to be the case. Okay, so, the wires from the bunker lead here to here, yep, this way. Then where do they go from here? Up the side of the building, oh, and they go down to right here, okay. I get it now. That should do it. That should do her. Run around we go, one more time. Man, if there's those children corpses in there, man, I'm going to cry. Hopefully they weathered the blast and made it out, but I feel like that's probably not going to be the case. Oh, that's an odor. Miller family. This is the Miller family. We'll play the... We'll play the radio message. Did we just turn it off again? One more time. Alright, Miller family. Let's hear your John, final words. Anyone out there? My family needs your help. We're trapped in our bunker in John's salvage yard. Generator running, the ventilation died, and now the hatch. Shut tight. Vacuum sealed. Please, someone. We're almost 
almost out of oxygen. The hatch is in the tipped train car. Please, start the generator. Kimmy, stay calm, honey. Breathe slowly. That's it. Slowly. This has been a pre-recorded message. Message repeats in three seconds. Holy cow, that's dark. That's dark. John. And as you can see, Bethesda did the thing, we'll talk about that in a second, where they left two teddy bears I love where the kids' bodies would have been. Oh my god. Bruh, have some, have some feeling for these people. Holy cow. Yeah, that's it for them. Wow. Well, at least we can help ourselves with their supplies. Hopefully we were able to use it better than them. That's so terrible. And it was, they didn't even run out of food, it was oxygen that got them. Bingo. What is this? Hmm, this is for, this guy knew how to use power tools, so he'll, this book will help us use the electric magnetic drivers. And finally, we have the Mountaineer's backpack nice. here. Wow, this is awesome. 45 more carry weight, minus one agility. How does that compare to our current backpack? Here it is. Ah, the carry capacity by 60, so this is a bit better. And the 20 resistance, yeah. That's a bit better than the other one, I gotta admit, I gotta admit. But it's really cool to have another one of the collectible backpacks in our possession. I think there's 9 or 12 or something like that, so very cool. Let's go ahead and head back up into the Commonwealth and check out that Red Rocket gas station and see if we can pick over any corpses from the fighting that just took place there. That, that little uh, safe was actually... This place was full of goodies. The Tesla cannon up at the roof, the unique Tesla cannon, and then all of those little minor uh, things that you can use to upgrade our stuff in the little bunker. So where's the Red Rocket from here? I actually don't know. There it is. Spotted, spotted. There's the like gangrenous pool. Let's not mess with that. And that hut, which is probably a corpse in there. Okay, Brotherhood's coming into the area. Looks like we're at the outskirts here of somewhere. The, t the city, I suppose, is one of the outskirts of Boston. Go ahead and grab some supplies from here. Not sure again what that nuclear blast was all about, but I guess we'll go see. Can't fix that. Okay. Love to see if we can find some new modded content as well. Here's some gunfire. Not sure where it's coming from. Typically when these things fly over, all the raiders just like lose their shit and everyone just starts running around shooting at them. Oh! Wait, it's hostile? Wait. No, it's not hostile. Man, this mod... Wealth... Wealth or scav. This mod, bro, I would've started shooting at him. Let's drop this scaver. Or not. It looks like it's bugged. I don't think I've gotten a single headshot. Oh, I have gotten some headshots. Oh yeah, he sees us now. Insert something Come on. Oh, that car is gonna blow. Oh, that took us out. I think that maybe another car next to us blew because that that was the that was the end of us. My goodness, those are completely unpredictable. Okay, good. We actually came back right at a good point. Hey, buddy. Oh, hello there. Doink. Oh, that thing might be out of control. Oh, no, it's not. Oh, they swung that hoe around. Loot the body. Pipe sniper. Cool. Oh, that dude got melted. We got another mod about that overhauls the lasers, not overhauls, but adds, you know how like when you shoot at Mirelurks, all the little things just shoot out in all directions? All the little refracted lasers, well, it may not be strictly realistic, but we go ahead and added that effect to a bunch of different enemies in the area. 
or sorry, not enemies, oh. to the laser rifle, so that everything that lasers hit, it'll just start to spray around like that. Like, pew pew pew. Alright, let's just toss five BBs in the air. Good strats, good strats. We got a Brotherhood Knight over there, good, okay. So BB pellet to the dumpster, alright. Again, not much in here, right? Oh yes, we still have to loot this inside zone. We'll let the fighting rage run around us. I actually think the Brotherhood can take care of some scavs. Sounds like one of the cars just started. Oh, we're taking fire damage. Quick, uh, counteract it. There we go. Okay, luckily that car didn't get set off for that one by the secondary explosions. Looks like these guys are moving in here. Looking pretty secure now. Gunfire dying down. Holy cow, what is this? An Annihilator Sentry bot. This is what it must produce that nuclear explosion earlier. Okay, and a dead scaver here inside the car he tried to use for cover. The Welther scav, alright. More fighting going on that way. I think the scavs may have been in that area there and they got drawn out of their defenses. I kind of want to loot this side first, but I also want to see what's going on down there. Deacon, where are you? Who knows? Looks like these buildings are all boarded up. No more dead raiders that I can see. I'm sure in my playthrough, I'm sure many times I've walked right past like very dead raiders I just haven't noticed that you guys have. But I don't see any. It's just, you know, they're armor really is a decent camouflage. Like, I'll give him that, like, happily. Where are you at, Deacon? I hear you. I see you. I see you in there. Alright, hopefully you can take the last bit of stuff on us here. You know what? You can use the Tesla cannon. Like, if you hey, can if you can carry you it, you can use it. And if you can find ammo for it. Alright. Actually, you want to take that. There you go. Go ahead and wear that. Nice. Let you take a little more gear. We gotta give all of our companions these special backpacks. I didn't even think about doing that. That's literally a great plan. I just did not even occur to me. Okay, what's over here? Nothing. A horrific swamp area. I want to shoot a mini nuke down there. Nuke mine, I'll listen option. This thing is strong, bro. I think it's strong, strong, strong. Alright, well. Did that trigger him? Got the big one. That's what's most important. Okay, this little thing is meant for bugs, right? Let's put it to use. Not a hit. Reload. I was hoping they'd all be dead by now. Ah, fall back. Oh, they're coming around. All right then. Oh, they're coming above. Shoot it down. To the BB. What is that? That's not a BB. That's like some kind of plug. Deacon's going stealth against the blow flies. Typically very extra, just like Deacon always is. Anything interesting on him? Can't say that. Let's go ahead and get some Rad X going. Rad. Regular Rad X. We won't skimp here. Oh, a nice handmade revolver. Good other cool new weapon. My god, I would not want to be full of my water my excuse me, my water from this. That seems like a terrible plan. Is there that stingwing around here? There it is. 
Oh, that was a blood bug. Oh my goodness. Oh, I hear it. <gasps> the Stingwing is still alive. We're gonna go for the head. We have to. With the crit. Come on. Oh. Come on, get it. Oh, that was close. That thing was right on top of us. Alright, we got him, boys. And a lot of lag hitting all of a sudden. Okay, not much here. Not much here. Raider Waster, yep, dead. Bulldog Pistol, modded gun, but I think we've seen that before. I got out a couple episodes ago. The Bulldog Pistol is going to have to leave the game, sadly, because... It is the mod. That and the PM Eagle come together. And I love the Bulldog, but the PM Eagle does not look very lore friendly, so it's going to depart. I know, very sad for some of you guys who may have liked that gun, uh, but it will be leaving soon. That thing is just. Dude, they said just fly around until you kill. Until like, you get killed. Like, you have no mission. Like, just fly and shoot things until you die yourself. Alright, up we go here. What's that? A paint can! You know me, I take all the loot. Let's go ahead and check what out what's down this what's down excuse me, what's down this road here. I don't really know where those brotherhood soldiers went either. Dude, send that thing home, it's gonna die. Alright, that's all dead. It also came to my attention, I don't know if you guys remember. Remember, but sadly, oh, is that an openable wicked shipping truck? But sadly, uh, the mod which uh, the Eddie Winter, not Eddie Winter, I'm like so thinking about the truck of Eddie Winter. Come on, let's get this thing open. Nope. Come on. Ah, 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 there we go. Nice. Oh, explosive things, bottle cap mine. Gas masks, some stealth boys, explosive barrels making me extremely nervous, and just a good old steamer trunk. Not, whoa, a hundred gold watches and packs of duct tape. Incredibly based. All right, well, guys, I do think that's everything in this area, so we're going to go ahead and fast travel to the police station. Yeah, we, we really just kind of, we had a quite a long trek here. Boom, boom. All that to here. Alright. Down to the police station we go. Dog made he sniffing around over there. So unfortunately, you guys saw the Sentinel power armor. Um, well, we finally went and killed it when we were clearing the switchboard, but unfortunately we saw it much earlier in our playthrough, right when we were first approaching Corvega, of course, and we skipped it. Unfortunately, that meant they were two power-armored corpses with full T-45 that we missed, and they both had a unique note on them, and they decayed, which is tragic. That really is sad. So, I don't even know what to do. That just makes me feel bad that we missed out on all that delicious power-armored pieces. That is just really, really something. But it is all right. You know, at the end of the day, it is what it is. Oh, looks like we got some gunfire nearby. Let's get a P. Let's take some cover. I have two melons to eat. I've been thinking about these. Oh, not that. Oh, well. Oh, we're up there on rads. <coughs> well, the good news is that I think we can just... Oh, Dan, he doesn't like when you take drugs. That's lame, Deacon. <coughs> Alright, out we go here. Alright, looks like the fire died down. Here we go. We'll go ahead and grab our gear from our companions hey. here. Sure, I can help you out. Dude, I'm loving Let's that backpack on you. It's kind of fire. I'll take everything except for that backpack from you, man. Yeah, including that. I'll take that jury rig Tesla cannon back. As funny as it would be to see him just roll up with that thing on him. Dog mate. Hey. Come, boy. Come here, boy. No. Over here. There we go. All right, we'll just take everything from you. Not this. That's what we want. Okay. In we go with our, like, Boy Scout level BB, like, amped up BB gun plinker. I think in the future it's perfect. It's not perfect, but it's still suitable for human enemies. Humanoids, even. But 
Human enemies, not super mutants. Not suitable for super mutants. Next time, we're not doing that again. Oh, it looks like we're addicted to something. We have insomnia. Let's go ahead and get gutworm colonies down. Okay. We're pretty irradiated hey now. There. Well, look who's back. I take it that area's clear. All right, looks like the text really. does not get you're, uh -huh. by you're the interested too in much, heading out on another Not really sure how much but I like that thing being so know. small. Anytime. Sure. I'm ready. Good. Here's uh -huh. the latest target area. Mm -hmm. I don't want to see Where is it? Your face until that place is clear. Faneuil Hall. All right. Well, we all know where that is, guys. Da 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 da. da. Right in the middle of Boston, right here. We've cleared it before, so we'll chalk that up to a Radiant Quest someday. Maybe we'll get our Quarter Mastery done at some point. Get that thing taken care of, and then we can do that from there. Hmm. I totally forgot that Ness Headquarters is Gunner's Plaza. It's still so funny. We might go from Wallace's Bar down to, like, here and try that at some point. Not this episode, though. What I want to do next episode is set up the Mila, and this should be really fun just clearing our way through a bunch of the center of Boston, just wiping things out, getting up onto the freeway, and just using the height of the city to our advantage. Should be an absolute blast. But before that, let's go ahead and head all the way back to Sanctuary, drop off our loot, and then continue. And we have another mod installed, the Wilderness, up there, which adds a world space that's as big as Nuka World. Now, it's not full of content like Nuka World. It's actually mostly forested areas. But that should be really fun with all of our green overhaul mods and all of our water mods all over everything. It should be a beautiful area to walk around in. It's very empty, but there's a quest, and it is horror-based. So, excited to explore that. That will be something that we'll do almost like a DLC. It won't take up as long as a DLC, obviously, but we'll treat it like, you know, it's something to do after we finished everything else. Um, so, we'll wait on that. Uh, until uh, until we're a little bit more uh, ready, let's say that. So, in we go. Load up into Sanctuary. Always anticipating a random CTD. Like, I always think, oh, it's gonna happen. Dude, you look fire with that backpack, man. You look good. I'm not even gonna lie. Alright, got all the standard stuff. Well, we don't have a... 1500 pounds, so we're below our standard capacity. Be growing well. Nothing's oh, more me. satisfying than a smoking gun and a pocket full of cash. I don't. Think good things are more satisfying than that, Kate. That's kind of. I don't even know what to say to that completely. In we go here. Excuse me, Cameron. Yes. No, don't trade with me. Hey there, friend. We're in some real trouble. Oh, not again. Are you Maybe kidding you me? Can help. Again? I'd like to trade some items. Uh, of course. I'm like, actually, I just want to trade with you. All right, well, if you're not going to quest with me, then I won't accept it. I didn't mean to cancel on you, but there's no way this place needs help. Like, this place is so... He if you guys have seen any of the settlement defense videos, this place is defended to hell and back. We've got 349 defense. Crop's been growing pretty good lately. In actual advantageous positions scattered around. I really doubt they need more help defending, but all right, whatever. Just when you think you're safe, you're not. That's how it yeah, it's okay. Like oh, hey, Greedy. <clears throat> there you are. I almost thought you forgot about I me. almost did. I just Do you have gear trade on you? Things. Oh, I see. All I'm good for is hauling your crap. Well, we'll take you to do something else some other time. Uh, yeah, we are going to take that stuff back. Thank you. All right. I, don't, I was like, I don't know why you have a 10mm SMG. That's unauthorized armament there, soldier. All right. Harvest the crops. Absolutely crazy how many mods we've gotten running in the last, you know, few weeks. I think our playthrough has gotten. It feels like the difference between 270 and like 320 where we are now. Like it feels, it feels like it should be incremental, or it seems like it should be, but it feels like a lot more mods to me. I don't know about you guys, but it feels like we have a lot going on, which is totally sick. All right, I'll take that from ye and that. Alright, up we go. Time to go ahead and drop off all this. Oh, and before we forget, my goodness, we definitely need a rad cleanse here. That's much better. Eat up. Go ahead and pump our water. 
I'm going to do our standard go mute. You guys are welcome to skip ahead until we're all done pumping. Actually, you know what? We don't even have that much to pump, so we don't even need to do that. Um, when we come back with 2,000 pounds of gear and three quarters of his junk, yeah, but I feel like we didn't even find that much. Oh, I didn't even know you could use lab bottles for purified water. Look, we literally needed almost nothing. All right, now for our own thirst needs. Our health is down, but we'll restore that by sleeping. It's like, that's not working. That's fine. All right, and we have a nice nap. We'll be good to go. All we need to do is now drop off all of our gear that we've gotten. Okay, those automatic laser rifles. You know, one of the things I like most about that Tesla cannon is that it actually spawns on the... Um, we'll put this back. We don't need this anymore. <laughs> It actually spawns on the level list of the, um, oh, there we go, hunting knife, hunter's knife, new modded melee weapon. You see it with raiders and whatnot. I wonder what makes it jury rigged. I actually want to look at the mods that that thing has. Hmm. That plasma infused raiding rifle, there we've ported 38 handmade revolver, another new weapon. PM Eagle. You're not long for this world, PM Eagle. Let me tell you. Okay, we'll drop off all of our grenades and mines. Okay, let's check out what stuff we can modify here with oh, our nice new weapons. Oh, the Tesla can doesn't even show up. It doesn't have any upgrades, which makes sense. You know, that, that makes sense. I like the idea... I like the idea of the powerful automatic... Got the hardened automatic and the powerful automatic. Yeah, I mean, we could. I want to have an automatic weapon. I think that's a lot of fun. We'll go with the long barrel. We don't want something that's like. I don't want the hip fire axe to be too, too bad. I like the other long barrel. It's a good in between. We'll go with the. I think this is just a straight upgrade all the way down, so. Of course, we'll take that. We'll take the large quick eject mag and. How about a short scope? Nope, we only have night vision. We'll throw a medium scope on it. What do we have here? Reduced range, inferior range. This is just less range and more recoil each time. We'll do the first level because we're going to be fighting at close range most of the time. Looks like the paint only affects the little wire, the wiring on it, which is kind of funny. Guys, we'll take Riley's Ranger's paint. We'll call it the Slurpee. I like that. Slurpee, you're my friend now. You're my friend, Slurpee. We're not taking you out now, but you are 100% going to be taken out soon. Slurpee, you're in there, bro. I just want to try out this new weapon that we got a little bit more. We'll throw the jury rig Tesla cannon in there, too, I suppose. I'll just go down to our apparel. I'm not really being very disciplined with putting away the legendary gear where it should go. Wasteland hipster outfit? Like, what? And we'll get our legendary. In you go, legendary. So I'm curious as to what you guys think about this new uh, new HUD. It's definitely something interesting here. Alright, and now we have our junk. I think we'll actually put our special junk away first and a little. I'd like to mix things up on this channel, you know. Throw that in, get our baseballs in. Blow fly glands, good for making those. Syringer darts, coolant, good for decor. Gas canisters, good for decor. Gold watches, oh, so many. So great. Good for, though, that's great for decor there. This lantern's very rare. Good for decor. Ooh, uh, we're going to put those. We need, uh, good for decor, but we don't need any more after that, let me tell you. I'll just reflexively store them away, but I guarantee we don't need more than that for decor. We only need like 20 or 30. Stuff grizzly there, that's new. Oh, nice new noise. Do I hear the crackling of gunfire? Oh, so it's aid weighing us down? Okay. It's always the aid and the ammo. It's always the ones that you least expect that betray ya. In you go, guys. In you go. I really should try to keep some fixer on me in the future. Ah, 
I really shouldn't skimp on the purified water. It's always tempting because it'll weigh half a pound, but it's like, you really do need that stuff. Ooh, nice. Got them wolf ribs. Salisbury steak. We'll keep the, like, roasted ant and stuff. We might actually need to eat that in the future, so we'll keep that. Let's see how we do after we put away our ammo. 22 LR subsonic. In you go, boys. Don't need that many. That should be perfect. Need all our BB pellets. They weigh almost nothing. They weigh something. They say they weigh zero, but this many of them raise my weight by like one or two pounds. So they weigh something. All right, and if you guys are wondering, that munitions mod, which adds the framework for all these new kinds of ammo, also rebalances the weight of existing ammo. So the mini nukes weigh six instead of 12, and the missiles weigh like three instead of seven or whatever, which, I know some people might not like, but it's okay because I do think it does help balance the game a little bit more. And honestly, like, it's not that big of a change. I would prefer the minis to be as heavy as 12, but when you are in full survival, it really is a choice then to bring the main nuke and the launcher. It makes it almost impossible to bring. If you bring two nukes and a launcher, you're like over half your carry weights based on that. So, you know, something to think about. We have two level ups now, so I guess we'll go ahead and throw. Uh, I don't even know. Let's let's just wait because if we get a really good like um, you know, let's say we get a really good. Oh, we have that automatic radium rifle, so we want to put points into this. I was gonna say, this will help us use that radium rifle with full capability. That's what I was waiting on. Perfect. All right, guys. Well, we are all good. All we have to do now uh -huh. is get a little sleep in. Sorry, Mama Murphy. I got things to do. Sleepy time into sleepy time we go here, boys. Sleepy, sleepy. And uh, when I see you guys again, we should have 10 new mods up and running, which should be absolutely awesome. Alrighty, we are well rested. We're a bit parched. Can we? You know, this thing is always fickle. Whether or not it will actually satisfy our thirst needs or not, it will not today. We'll have a quick drink and uh, we'll end the video there. Next time, we'll be going with our BB gun up to set up the Mila. So I hope you guys are ready for that. So until, oh wait, do we have? Didn't somebody tell us to go clear out? The B A D T F at D B A D T F. Where that's just me. That's just my imagination. All right. Well, I will see you guys in the next one. Please leave a like if you enjoyed the video. This is your host, Star Destroy Gaming, signing off.